Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. And in this part of Laravel, we will talk about Laravel prerequisites and some basic points that we must have to know before starting with the Laravel. So first of all, I will tell you what is a framework. We know that Laravel is a framework, but we must have to know the definition of framework also because this is basic fundamental thing, right? After that, I will tell you that how we can start with any framework. This is not about Laravel. That is about, let's say, uh, you are learning Angular or Laravel, Express.js. So how we can start with the framework, we will talk about it. After that, I will tell you what tools we need before start with the Laravel. And after that, I will tell you how we can start with the Laravel and what we should know before start with the Laravel. And we will talk about some interview question also. And this is my Instagram account if you want to follow me there. So what is a framework? So let's talk about the definition. Then I will tell you why we need a framework and why some beginners actually confused about the framework. So see, framework is basically a platform for developing software application, right? They can be web applications, mobile application, or uh, you can say that operating system application, right? This is a very basic layman definition. And if you want to just go with the little bit complex and uh, you can say that developers definition that we can say that framework is a common structure for develop application so that developer don't have to do work from scratch. That means framework is a basic or common structure from there developer can start their application so that they don't need to start your application from ABC. Right? Because if you want to just uh, define the structure of our application, then we have to make uh, uh, common things and like uh, uh, validation libraries and uh, uh, database function. It took lots of time. We know that, right? That's why we use framework because framework have all these functionalities, right? And uh, beginners have a question that a framework at least take two to three months to learn from basic to advanced, right? So why we cannot define the code structure in a basic or you can say that core programming language? Why we uh, just waste our two or three months to the learning of framework? See, uh, when uh, we don't have much experience, let's say five, 10 or more than it, then this is really hard to make a robust uh, application structure. Because when we are working on a large project, there is a lots of file, lots of functions and uh, uh, you can say that sometimes we have to make algorithms also, right? So uh, in core programming language, they are really hard to manage. We think that we can do all these things in one or two months, but uh, if we will, uh, you can say that we will write the old basic things, but still we cannot make a robust framework from scratch. That's why we must have to go with the standard frameworks Right. And one more thing. So don't think that we have to we are just wasting one or two months or three months to learning a framework. We just learn it once and we can use it in many, many, many projects. Right. So that's why uh, that is a good approach to learn a framework and write your application in that framework. It can be any framework. I'm not only talking about Laravel. It can be it could be coordinator, why I, I, Zin, any framework. Right. So uh, now the question is how we can start with application when we are starting with the application. Uh, first of all, we have to define a structure of it. We have to make functions for database. We have to make functions for routing, for sessions, for validations, many more things, right? And a framework or do all these things by itself and save our lots of time. Even every programming language has its uh, own frameworks. For example, Laravel uh, by the PHP. Node.js have uh, Express, JavaScript has Angular and uh, Python have D uh, Dzango. So every programming language had have its own framework because they are really help to make robust application with the minimum time. So how we should learn a framework? Right. First question is that how we should do that. First thing is that we must have to know the basic base programming language. What is that meaning of base programming? Base, base programming means our frameworks language. Let's say uh, PHP is the base programming language for uh, Laravel. Python is a base programming language for Django. Uh, Angular is a 
javascript is a base programming language for angular we must have to know the basic of the base programming language otherwise we cannot understand the syntax and if you are not aware about the even basic thing about the base programming language then i will recommend that before starting with the framework start with the core programming language of that framework after that do not try to remember the framework code we know that in a from framework we have lots of files and uh, thousands of function don't try to remember them right just go with the basic things and when you need these functions after some days you already just call it in your mind and they will easy to remember itself right don't try to hard to remember them and don't try to just go deep dive with the first day see what developer do that some developer do that you know first day they just install the framework after that they want to just make a chat application they want to make some uh, machine learning kind of things don't do that right just go step by step learn basic things do practice with the basics and then move step by step right and now let's talk about some tools for laravel first thing is that we must have to install mysql and php or you can directly install xamp uh, xamp will provide the php and mysql both right and for php you must have to install uh, php at least php 8 or any version uh, above or greater than the php 8 right php 8.1 2 3 are fine but php uh, 7 or php 6 are not uh, comfortable with the latest version of laravel we must have to install uh, and we have to know about the composer and composer commands and at least we need a editor so what is composer don't worry about that how we can install the php and xamp don't worry about that in upcoming video i will tell about this theek see these are just basic thing i want to tell about that how we can manage these things i will tell you in the upcoming video and now let's talk about the prerequisites of laravel so first of all we have to set up the environment uh, like xamp uh, php mysql composer all these things we have to install them and we also just need uh the basic knowledge of php so that we can understand that how we can make functions in php how we can uh, print something right and how we can apply the mm, if else for loop or kind of things right and we have to aware about the database also so we must have to know that why we use database what is database what is table what are the rows and calls all these things at least we have to know about that and if you are not aware about these things please go uh, with the basic Uh, php and database then you have to move on the P, uh, on the laravel otherwise it will be trouble for you actually right because you will not understand that this is a uh, framework code or this is a database code or this is a php code and uh, if you know the object oriented programming then that is a plus point for you and if you don't know then don't worry this is not a mandatory or must thing how we can go with the laravel first uh, just learn that how we can uh, set up the environment and basic tools i will tell you in the upcoming video don't think that i am just uh, directly jumping on the some other uh, directly tutorial first we will install the environment tools composer everything right so first of all we will in install these things after that we will understand the that uh, laravel file structure and folders like uh, in which folder or in which file we have to write the code for uh, route where we have to make the middleware uh, and uh, uh, models and controllers right we will learn these things then we will go with the basics and do practice also i will give you some small uh, you can say that task also and i will tell you that how you can resolve the task in the next video so that we can just prepare with the interviews also and everything just do not watch these videos with the watching this video you have to implement the uh, these features and these topics also right so for example uh, let's say we are just talking about a form and uh, uh, you can say that form validation we just watch this video we will forget after just uh, 20 or 30 minute just watch this video implement with that video also it will be that will be helpful for you to just uh, go with the code and basic things and your mind and your you can say that uh, uh hand actually addicted with that code and that is good for you if you just write the code by your, yourself don't try to jump directly on the advanced things to start with the basics then intermediate then we will jump on the advanced thing right 
and uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel like this video and comment that uh, you can review that video that uh, is it good or this is not good and all and please support me by do these things thank you so much for watching this video